I just feel different. What do you think I should do? I need to try on these dresses for the ball tomorrow. I lost four stone and it was the biggest sort of lifestyle change I've, I've done ever in my life. I don't know why I keep thinking that things are gonna go over my ass. Oh, oh it smells like strawberry. <laughs> <laughs> my vagina's just recoiled. Can you oh, unzip this? Care. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the vlog. We have a new routine nailed and I've got to be honest, I keep trying to tell you that we've got a new routine and it's working so well because one of the things I was so worried about moving into this flat was that there's no garden. So on night two, we had an accident and I was awake from 4am cleaning up dog shit and piss from the front door, which was without a doubt Vinny because um, Franco just, he just would never do that. And also Vinny was like really sheepish around it and I did feel horrendous because like it's not nice for them to do that they don't actually enjoy peeing where they sleep and live and stuff so i started reading articles about how to train your dogs in a flat which is in hindsight what i should have done when we first moved in i uh, found this incredible article that was all about routine and what they need and how long they can go for and stuff like that I'm gonna fucking hell. come on so we basically wake up, I'm woken up by Vinny, like alarms are a thing of the past. He normally wakes me up at 6am and I get up, go to the toilet, put my clothes on and we get out straight away. Don't even look at my phone, although this morning I did just to check what time it was. But yeah, I've not even been like opening any apps, nothing. And you know what? Life changing. Something I'm so grateful for obviously having the dogs is that it does force you to do things like that. So we just get up and we get out and we walk straight away. And then they have a pee break at 12, midday. And then they have a pee break after their dinner at like anywhere between sort of 10 past to half past five. And then they have another pee break at half past nine before we go to bed. And it's been perfect. They actually also pretty much know their routine. So around midday, they'll sort of jump down from the naps and like, come on, get my lead, let's go. So it's really good, it's working so well. Um, and I've woken up every single morning sort of like creeping out into the hallway, checking that it's all clear. But yeah, it's been brilliant and that's helped so much in here. Come on, we're going into the field now. I've also found this incredible field, look, near us. So I walk from here every morning and they just run riot. Then he even gets into the river. Come on then, Liz. I don't think you can bring your stick in, babes. Yeah, we're, we're doing good. The dogs are so calm and so relaxed in the flat. It's, it's crazy, as am I, to be honest. The last two weekends, I've had a couple of naps on the sofa. So I'm definitely feeling, I just feel different. I just feel really, really different. Like I said in the last vlog, I feel really calm and I feel really centered and it's a really peaceful place to be. Today is still much of a sorting day. God, I'm looking kind of rough. Listen, I think I'm ready for Botox. Seriously, I'm ready for something. I've done all the inner work, still doing all the inner work, still doing the work, still growing all of that but I just want a bit of Botox now I think I've had enough I am sick of just feeling so dishevelled all the time um so I've been making it my priority this week to fully sort out my office room so that I can just at least set my makeup and sit down and do my makeup more days than none at the moment uh the flat's really coming together today's job is still much more of the same of that um, I've got to go to the tip this morning. I loaded up the car with that yesterday. I potentially bought a dishwasher off Facebook Marketplace. I'm just waiting to hear back from her. And I want to finish off the kitchen. DB built this stainless steel rack thing for me on Saturday. And yeah, I'm pretty much done with the washing up. But the, the main reason is, I'll be totally transparent with you. I did a clean and organise my kitchen video with me on Instagram. If you're not following me over there, please go and do go and do please do i need to record the part two and i just haven't had time because i've been in london we were me and bills were recording again on tuesday this week so i just haven't had time to sort it out um so i'm going to be filming that today 
that's right i'm going to be filming content and vlogging in one day the only thing i still haven't managed to sort out this week is my exercise routine i did go to the gym on monday and i had a really good session but i've not managed to do much else since then but i'm also just not trying to i'm just trying to not beat myself up and like roll with the punches i can't do it all and priorities and the priorities is getting that space just fully functioning and sorted we also have a ball tomorrow night my mum has organized this charity ball uh, called the forget me not ball and it's for dementia which is just in my opinion one of the most hideous diseases there are so sending my love to anybody who's been affected with loved ones who have suffered from the disease or who are suffering from the disease. So yeah, mum's organising this ball and we're all going. I've uh, got a big table of us. Our table is like pretty much just a few of the GCT lot. DB's got the job of the MC. So we had to, oh my God, the ducks. <gasps> Do you see how much that made me jump? So he's gonna be like hosting the evening. <laughs> So we had to go to Bridge End yesterday afternoon and get him a suit because he didn't have one. Can, can I just show you that the amount I've been speaking, this dog has still got a stick. Another thing I've had to start doing is putting Vinny in the river to wash him because where the weather's been so bad, I needed to like wash off. Could you, Frank, do you have to drink it? Go on, get in. That's it. Wash off. Frank always sits on the edge like, should I go in? I don't know if I'm brave enough. We're back from our walk now, aren't we baby ninners? Are we back? I'm gonna have a coffee now and write a bit of a to-do list today. I've got loads of little bitty jobs. Even the stuff that I've got to do in the kitchen is quite a lot. So I feel like by writing a list, I'll be less overwhelmed. So I've just made myself a coffee. Which by the way, you know I spoke about that law coffee from, um, Sainsbury's. I really can't wait to have a coffee machine again. I'm not gonna lie, instant. You just, I feel like the tears of being a coffee snob just climb and climb and climb. I used to have, when I lived in the home with my ex-husband, I had an espresso machine, just where you put the pods in, which I did really like. And then he kept that and I, I've never bought one since. I did, if you saw the vlog, have head loss and bought like an X display sage machine, but it was like damaged and I didn't realize that that's why it was, like I didn't realize it was X display basically. I thought I just got a really good deal. So when I move house and I know what worktop I've got or if I feel it appropriate to spend that sort of money on one, then I will treat myself to a new coffee machine because I do really enjoy good coffee and I have one every single morning. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna keep my my eyes out, eyes on the lookout. I'm gonna keep my eyes on the lookout. I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep on the lookout for one of those. But if you have any like ride or die coffee machine recommendations, let me know. Oh yeah. That was Molly because <laughs> I donated to her and Jason's marathon just giving page, but I forgot to put it. it was for me. I accidentally did it anonymously. I didn't mean to. If, by the way, I'm going to leave both their links down below. They are both running the marathon. They've worked so hard. I'm so proud of them. And if you have just even a couple of quid to spare before next weekend, um, they'd be. So, I know they'd be so grateful if you could sponsor them. So I know how, you know, there's a lot of charities going around and a lot of asks for donations and stuff, but... I just thought I'd see what, you know, what we can pull out of the bag last minute. So yeah, that's the plan. I think I'm gonna write a list and then I'm probably gonna jump in the shower because I think I need to feel fresh today to do everything that I need to do. And we're gonna start off by going to the tip. What a fun job that is. And um, I've got to go and pick up all my house plants and bits from mum's house. But I did load the tip, I did load my car up last night with tip stuff. So that will help. Anyway, it's not even eight o'clock yet. So I do just want to try and have like a really productive day today. I really do. Uh, I know you're going to be like, stop being so hard on yourself. I'm not being hard on myself. But you know what else? I don't think you get much done being kind to yourself, sit on, sitting on the sofa doing fuck all all day. So I really am going to push through, stay motivated and 
be as productive as I can. Okay, I'm showered, I've done my list, and I'm on my way to the tip. My car still smells like a tip, to be quite honest, but that's a job for another day. In fact, I'm going to do it next. I'm gonna clean it for next weekend. But it's hard because I've been on so many tip runs. You know what it's like when you're moving. You've got like cardboard boxes and you can't fit it all in the recycling. So I'm going to drop my Amazon parcel, take that back, go to the tip, go to mum's, come back and get this kitchen bloody finished. I'm also really hungry and I've got absolutely nothing in the house apart from some Greek yogurt. So I might need to swing in and get some um, and get some food. I'm just really not enjoying the look today. Good God, that is up there with one of the worst but most satisfying jobs. I always feel like a, a, a load has been lifted when I've been to the tip. So I'm finally getting around to finish this kitchen video off. I actually just finished the kitchen off, period. The washing up's finally been done and I've put the oven trays in oven pride to soak and also rubbed the inside of the oven with oven pride. I've just finally moved this big unit into the kitchen. The quicker I can clear slur, clear slur, clear stuff off the um the sides the better. Guys, this is so unrelated, but I am honestly panicking about how thin my hair is getting. Like, I think I need to start taking supplements or something because it is like, it's so thin. I'm really tempted to lob it off, like here. But my issue with that is I, I'm not feeling like my best self right now. What do you think I should do? Anyway, so I'm filming the whole, I filmed the whole kitchen series on Instagram. So I'm gonna finish that video off and then show you the finished kitchen reveal. Right, although it has taken me pretty much all day, I have finally sorted this kitchen out, which is something I have been trying to do for so many days now. I'm so impressed with this. This is from Ikea and I just love it. I've kind of like half styled a couple of bits and put some plates out and stuff. Shelves always says you've got to do triangles, so maybe that plants in the wrong way because then that makes a triangle. I don't know. I've got Tupperware in here. Got a couple of last minute bits draining, drying on the rack. Got some nice bits out on the windowsill. I'm gonna light the candle in a bit. I need to get a plant pot for that. I don't know if I'm happy with that, but for now it's fine. I have a very sexual cleaning cupboard. A very sexual pots and pans cupboard. This is all of my like equipment stuff. That's where I've put the kettle and toaster. A couple of chopping boards and I've got glasses, mugs up there. This cupboard is like TBC. There's like a random amount of stuff there that I need to sort, but plates and bowls are up there. Then I've got down here, my big butcher's block, which I use all the time, like my salt and pepper dishes. And then this again, it's not perfect. I keep saying this is only temporary and for now, it just, it is what it is. I don't want to spend any more money. Like all these little bits that have built up, um, the spice racks, the lights, it does all add up and I don't want to go mad because obviously I'm moving into my house. I've put out everything in a way that I can see. I've got one more of these cleaning. So I'm thinking I'll utilize that space uh, in here once I've sorted through those bits, but that's just drying. <sighs> so yeah, it kind of has taken me all day to do, but it's done now and that's like the worst bit. I'm just waiting for those bits to dry, like naturally. I'm a bit funny about that, which is another reason why I want dishwasher because I don't like cleaning stuff and then doing it with a tea towel. So I'm letting those bits dry and then I'm gonna hoover, mop the floor and do the finishing um, vlog for my Instagram. I'm feeling accomplished. Oh my gosh. Have you ever seen such perfect boys? They are so beautiful. <gasps> Just so beautiful, yeah. I think where the weather's a bit funny today, they keep looking at me like, where's my dinner? And they've still got a while yet. Hans, I think you've got an hour or so. We have, we've got another hour. 
I need to try on these dresses for the ball tomorrow. I need to fake tan. And am I fuck going to be cooking in that kitchen today? So I'm thinking of being terribly naughty and getting a pizza or something like that. I don't know if I've spoken too much about my eating habits like in depth, but for the last... It's a funny one because I have had periods of my life that have been heavily affected by disordered eating and I feel like in the last few years minus the past year I'd really come to a place of peace with eating. 15 years ago when I was with my first proper boyfriend my binge eating habits were horrific and then when I split up with him, I lost four stone and it was the biggest sort of lifestyle change I've, I've done ever in my life. And ever since that, I've sort of found my body and not ever abused it in that way. We used to get pff, takeaways like, I don't even know how we afforded it because I wasn't earning much money back then either. We just used to eat out and get takeaways all the time, just eat pure shit. Maybe it was my age as well that you hold weight differently through different periods of your life. But just before I met my ex-husband, I was very, very small and I was eating minimal, like it got bad. And for the first sort of year, year and a half of that relationship, I was, I would say in a, in a very bad place uh, with eating. I was absolutely obsessed with eating, exercise. I was tiny, absolutely tiny. So then over the course of that relationship, I fluctuated. But I did come to a, a place of sort of like balance and peace with eating and, and the way that I sort of view and value food, especially as I've gotten better at cooking and enjoyed cooking more and more throughout the years. I'm fascinated by nutrition. I love cooking whole foods, eating whole foods, cooking everything from scratch. But in the last 14 months, fuck me, has it been such a roller coaster of a time for me and there's been real low low periods of almost feeling like I did 15 years ago that sort of binge eating or I don't really want to call it binge eating because binge eating is like a it's a it is a, a term a proper term but you know really unnecessarily comfort eating even that's a problematic phrase because you know food is there to make you feel something and you are meant to you know it's okay that food can comfort you the smell or the taste or whatever like that's okay but you know what I mean again I'm trying not to beat myself up like I don't drink I've never touched drugs um food is my it's my vice I guess and until I'm in a place of even just minor routine, I, I think it's gonna be a bit up and down and I'm just accepting that. And my body hasn't really changed that much because of it. And I think that comes down to stress, happiness, how you um, how you feel inside. Because obviously when I went through like the breakup of my marriage, I lost weight and I was doing nothing. I wasn't even exercising for the first like four months when we split up, but the weight just sort of like fell off me and it's it's come back a bit, but not like masses. I get this is probably dangerous territory talking about this because it's so problematic as a subject. It's so nuanced. There's so many different strands off each strand of thought and there's no way I'm gonna be able to cover it all. But yeah, I guess I just wanted to talk to you a bit about it because it is important and if you would like if you feel like that and have periods of that if you have periods in your life that feel like that then just know that you're not on your own basically i want to get the balance back where on a thursday evening me ordering a pizza doesn't make me feel a certain way i, I think because i've eaten such low nutritional value food like in volume over the last few months I'm still associating bad things with bad food and that's not how it works like there isn't a bad or a good food there's more nutritious food and less nutritious food i just think it's important to talk about these things even though they're like dangerous territory i you know what i'm like i want you to come along the ride in all its ups and downs so yeah
I don't think I've shown you this room yet. Looks worse than it is, but I've done a lot. I've totally moved everything around. And it's just a case of unpacking now, but moving all the furniture on my own was quite an ordeal. Put a little picture up because there was a hook on the wall already. And also that mirror as well, but I need to clean that. I've just taken the boys out for their 5 p.m. after dinner walk. And I'm now going to try on this ASOS stuff for the ball tomorrow, which I'm very nervous about. And I'll tell you for why, because it's Thursday today. The ball is on Friday. If none of this looks good, we are, we are fucked. Couldn't get much higher, oh no. Do you know what? I ordered one of Lisa Potter Dixon's candle from her new brand, Champagne and Smoke, Filthy Rose. Let me tell you, it's scented the entire room and I've not even lit it yet. It smells like Oud Rose Luxury Rich. And also I got sent um, this Liberty Discovery Kit of the Liberty um, own fragrances. So we've got Liberty Maze Tudor and then that breath, Wild Rosinda. This is just Oh my God, it's probably one of the nicest perfumes I've ever smelled and I can really smell it on myself as well. So sorry for the not aesthetic trying on session. My plan is if I try on these first, that's going to determine what sort of breakdown I'm going to have, which will then determine what food I'm going to have. And then we can go from there. This is from Boohoo. Now, I didn't intend to like buy a shit dress, but... I'm very limited right now on like what I'm comfortable in. Brave of me to step into that. We'll visualise first with the sports bra and if we think it has potential we'll remove to see. I mean I'd, it, this would be a full on take my tits up situation. This isn't horrendous. Is the orange a bit much? It's got like a little bit of a slit in the side. I quite like it like imagine the tits are there. I need to send my friend Meg pictures because she is um, gonna be on hand for what to suggest. We're not really friends with ASOS at the moment, but we're desperate is what we are. You can't really wear a cotton dress to a ball, can you? I'm just not in the mood for like belly out, I can't lie. And I feel like I'm gonna have to be comfortable. Let's put that up a little bit. Oh, I'm not really feeling that. Next up we have this green dress, which is similar to the orange one, I think. I have never worn this colour in my life, so I'm sure we'll possess me to pick it up. I don't know why I keep thinking that things are going to go over my arse when they're absolutely never. I don't know if this is going over my arse either way, to be honest. Uh, this this is giving like a dishcloth. Oh, there's a lady there. This is something to pick it up. I still have a cleaning cloth. It's a shame, you know, because the, the, the shape of it is actually quite nice. But the uh, cut is horrendous. I'm gonna have to put the blinds down a bit. I don't know what that lady is doing. Oh, do you know what? Fuck it. If I'm putting it on the internet, a navy blue number. Love navy blue. Can't go wrong. Let's learn from our past mistakes and put this over the head rather than over the ass. Oh, this is kind of like a similar shape to. The, well, it's kind of giving eponine from Les Mis, and my hair's stuck. But do you know what? If someone just put a slit in these dresses, they wouldn't look so grandma. That's tragic really, isn't it? It needs a slit. If that had a slit in the leg, that would be so nice. And I could wear my hair in a high ponytail. Could I cut a slit in? We've got one more option. If that orange dress was in like navy or something, that would be perfect. It's gonna be too skimpy, I think. I still feel like it's too belly. I'm not, I'm just not in a belly mood. Not ideal, is it? Once again, I've left it to the last fucking second. Oh, God, i try and find something to wear. I don't think I've got anything like black tie. I suppose that orange dress is going to be the closest to it, isn't it? The job of trying to do this room as well today, on top of the fact I've got a video to edit, is probably a bit stupid. But I've decided what I'm going to do is, well, I've ordered some food. I actually ordered the same as what I ordered the day I moved in, you know, that Tokyo Wok thing. I ordered some noodles and with prawns this time. And um, 
I thought I will fake tan. Now, this is the first time I thought I'll fake tan whilst I'm waiting for it to come. And then it can cook. I can sleep in it because my bed sheets need changing anyway. And then I can wash that off in the morning. And I think that's gonna make me feel better. I'm probably gonna go for the orange dress. I've just been on Boohoo, which is where I got that one from. And I've seen they've got it in my size in navy blue. Part of me is like, shall I be safe and do that? Oh no, why is there no tanning mitt in here? Where are my tanning mitts? Why would I not put a tanning mitt in with fake tan stuff? Some people would choose to see that as a sign, but I am choosing to see that as a disaster. There's no tanning mitt here. Do you know what I'm doing? I'm gonna sack the whole thing off. I'm gonna sack the whole thing off. I'm gonna sit in front of the computer and do my editing. This is the tan that I swear by, but you need to leave that on for eight hours before washing off, so that's not gonna help. Then I've got the dark foam from Bondi Sands, which I also love. Oh here, what's this? Bronzing mist, advanced one hour tan. One hour mm, is too risky to try something new. I'm thinking what I could do is just put on um, like a gradual lotion for tonight. Colour develops in one to two hours, leaving the ultimate undetectable tan. No streaks, no smells, no drama. The tan, tan lux, should we try that? Oh, lovely consistency. It's very light. Whoa. Oh my God, it smells like sun lotion. A little tanning tip for you. Um, not that I need my stomach tanned, but if I'm gonna tan, I'm gonna do my whole body. Gradual tan, whatever. I tuck my top in because then it stops that from like rubbing on the skin. Oh my gosh, a goodest boy. <gasps> Good boy. You're so cute and perfect. Yes, you are. Do we love classical music? My dinner's arrived. Oh, I love that these little lights come on. Look at these. These lights from Amazon are insane. They just come on automatically. Can't lie, I am absolutely starving. So this is a good idea. I basically got the same, but with um, king prawn. Honestly, they're massive. Good morning, everybody. Or is it the afternoon now? Yeah. I didn't carry on vlogging yesterday because well, I was tired. And it's the next day. And we've just been to do my kind of first food shop. This is fun! This feels like a real kitchen house! It looks amazing. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. Here's your milkshake. Thank you. Mm, my hair's upsetting me. I bought some sparkling water, some strawberries, a tanning mitt, because as we found out yesterday, I don't have one. Little dried mango packets and nut and fruit mix. Some fresh parsley, mushrooms, vintage cheddar, rocket, some pears. We love a yellow sticker and these are figs. Oh, I want one of those now. Do you want a fig? Yes, please. So, oh yeah. I've always known this as a money plant, right? Yeah. This, I'm gonna show you, look at this. Look at this, everyone. This, I've grown up knowing this is a money plant. However, I feel like maybe we've been lied to because I'm looking up on YouTube. YouTube doesn't recognise that as a money plant at all. They recognise that as a jade plant. Everything I'm looking at is saying it's, it's calling it a jade plant. And when I look at money plant, it's a different kind of plant. Well, I never. Well, I never. I need a money plant. I've, all this time I've been thinking that's bringing me money. It's bringing you jade, which I guess would be luck, maybe. Can we resume because my brain can't... I do apologise, you carry on. Um, some bread. No, we will carry this back up. Some red grapes, red choice tomatoes, some dried white bread crumb. <laughs> you did it again. <laughs> I've done that before, haven't I? Yeah. Bread crumb. Bread crumbies. Bread crumbs. I saw it on TikTok, or she did a version of. She called them, it was an American TikToker, and she called them chicken cutlets. So she like thinly sliced the chicken breast and then coated it in flour and like a plain flour mix. A flour and breadcrumb mix. And that then sparked that I have been craving chicken milanese for ages. So I'm gonna make that tomorrow night, which is basically like tomato -y spaghetti. And then I'm gonna make the breaded chicken thins to put on top. Red onion, 
lemon, parmigiano, some spaghetti, feta, because we're going to have a nice healthy breakfast tomorrow. We're being very healthy, aren't we now? Very healthy now. Now you're back in the gym and now I'm trying to sort my life out. Some chicken breast, some raspberries, some baby plum tomatoes, some baked beans, some black peppercorns, a little milk. By the way, I know that there are people on here that love these sardines, because I've spoken about them on Instagram before as well, but they were out of stock for ages, and it's the Waitrose own brand, Spicy Sardines, and they, they're just called sort of Sardine Picante. This is my version of treating myself. This is my favorite tuna in the world. It's like 5.65 for a tin, but I, I will die on the hill that says this is the best tuna you will ever taste in your life. And you agree, didn't you, the first time you tried it? Yes. Um, my favourite yoghurt also was on offer, so I've got that. I'm looking forward to trying that. And then, because I have a massive beefy fridge at the moment, I can get like fun drinks. So we've got the pomegranate and sparkling orange and pomegranate San Pellegrino. And then I saw the Fentiman's rose lemonade can, so I've got some of those as well. You went a bit mad, didn't you? I did go a bit crazy, but I think it's because it was like my first little shot. Yeah, to be fair. First shop's an important one for the house. I it's, have got a lot. You're setting up the state Come quo. back in the shop! What are you shouting out now? Oh, you smell like strawberry milkshake. Oh, Boy, it smells like strawberry milkshake. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't get to butt and then be like, oh, you smell like strawberry milkshake. I didn't know why you're lying. Oh, you're lying. Yeah, watch how I cut this. <laughs> didn't she, Vinny? Oh, good boy! She did, didn't she? Yeah, you love me more. Right, let's put this in the fridge. I like having her drinks from the shelf. Yeah. That's fun. That does give me immense satisfaction having a bit of a rogue uh, tomato puree there. I don't think I need that. I'll put that with the little snacky easter egg drinks there dairy and herbs there um fruit and veg like packet what's what do you call that you know what i mean then i've got meat and the dog food goes there and then i put the loose sort of like salady bits in there bottom tray's empty and then we have shush um it's coming together we're in a try on session on the day of a couple of hours before as per <laughs> i ordered that dress in navy so i'm going to do a quick try on of that to see if i prefer it to the orange that gradual tan from tan Lux is very nice though uh have got to be careful on your hands but you've kind of got to be like that anyway everyone i sent the orange one to loved it but there was a part of me that was like, would I be more comfortable in just something a little bit more understated? That's a nice shade of navy. Babe? Hey. Yep. Can you come and do this up? Ooh, all right. <laughs> I love that, that's stunning. Does it look a bit bright, maybe, though? Um, no, you're asking the wrong person that question. I just think it looks lovely. Yeah. This is the exact same dress as the orange, yeah. but in navy. I think it looks very elegant. Yeah. What, what are you thinking? I don't know. This is not for this ball, but I saw this dress on Boo Boo's website and I was like, I love it. Look at my cufflinks. <laughs> Got Iron Man. Oh my fucking Lord. Transformers. Batman, Superman, but what I do like to do sometimes is have a Superman on one and a Batman on the other because they're the same colour. My vagina's just recoiled. Can you oh, unzip this? Captain America. No, I'm not done yet. <laughs> and, and normal boring square ones, which I can already tell you now I'm not wearing. <laughs> right? It's not happening. Are you going to like show people your cufflinks though? Right. Listen, <laughs> you've got me in a suit. You've got me in black socks. Right. This dress is more for... If we go on holiday, I just absolutely loved it. I'm already loving the colours. Do you know the thing is, right? Cheap clothes always fit me better. They do. It's just funny because expensive clothes always fit me better. Is it? I'm not entirely sure. I think it looked better on the model. Oh, it is exactly the same material. I'm chatting pure shit. Oh, they're playing Harry Potter on Classic FM. I know, it's so good. Okay, come and 
do this up to me, please. I love it in both colours, to be honest. I, it's a really lovely dress. It sits on you lovely. And I may be a man, but I know that there's a rule. You either show leg or you show cleavage. And you've gone for cleavage, and I approve. You're going to have to choose which colour. Oh, this is a lot of pressure. Because if it's wrong, ultimately it's my fault then. I can't, I'm not like... Neither one of them are like, oh my god, I look incredible. I'm not feeling that for either of them. It's just what it will do, won't it? Well, no, I don't think it's a case of it will do at all. I think you'll look absolutely stunning in, in the both of them. It's just a case of which colour you'd prefer to, to wear this this fine this fine evening. You, you could wear a potato sack to the ball if you wanted. You'd be absolutely gorgeous. And these shoes, they like wrap around up my leg. Yeah. Like that. Nice. It's orange. Orange or navy? Orange. Would you please get me out of this? With pleasure. I yeah, I know you're going to cut that out. It's fine. <laughs> you can cut bits out. Listen, it's been what? Five months? <laughs> Don't have to tell everyone. To tell everyone. But earlier. I haven't been able to do a thing about it. <laughs> In an ideal world, I was going to have had this room sorted out today and be doing my hair and makeup in position with my lights and stuff, but that's not quite happened. So I'm sat on the floor. Um, but I've just waved my hair. I'm unsure how I want to have it. I kind of think I just want it like all back off my... <coughs> yeah, we'll see. But I've, I've put this little hairband in just to hold it back off my face. And I'm now going to do my makeup. I'm going to have to do it in the natural light, I think, but that's key. I mean, this is probably going to be up there with the worst endings to any vlog ever, but I didn't vlog beyond this point because it all just got a bit rushed. And yeah, that's it. So I thought I'd share a couple of pictures of us at the ball. Trace raised over £5,000, which is incredible. And I will see you next time. Love you so much. Bye.